Today we're going to talk about anxiety disorders. Uh, now you're probably all familiar with anxiety symptoms. Think about the way you feel before a big test when you haven't studied well. Uh, symptoms like restlessness, pounding heart, sweating, trouble falling asleep, concentration problems, and a feeling of tenseness. Now, anxiety disorders are particularly interesting because there are so many distinct diagnoses uh, in the anxiety realm, and all of them have specific treatments. Now, some of the different anxiety diagnoses, uh, GAD, or general anxiety disorder, that's sort of the anxiety equivalent of major depressive disorder. It's ongoing and uh, experiencing high levels of anxiety all the time, uh, generally without anything setting it off. Adjustment disorders with anxiety. There's a specific stressor. Um, by definition, an adjustment disorder is time limited and uh, generally resolves itself with treatment or not. Uh, specific phobias come under the domain of anxiety disorders. That's where you feel anxiety and uh, tend to avoid specific things. And of course, this can be uh, quite disabling if it's something that you encounter uh, every day. Um, fear of flying, of course, would be uh, very disabling for uh, a business person who needed to take frequent flights. Uh, social phobia, where you're afraid of certain specific uh, social situations, such as public speaking, and uh, you're uh, uh, distressed by feelings of being scrutinized. Uh, panic disorder is another anxiety disorder, and that can be with or without agoraphobia. Uh, panic disorder uh, can prevent someone's uh, scope of travel, so uh, in, in the extreme, they never leave their home. Now, some other diagnoses that uh, would be referred out, anxiety disorder due to a medical condition or uh, due to substance abuse. So that's where the uh, anxiety disorder is secondary to a non-psychiatric disorder. And of course, that would need to be ruled out before you would do your psychological treatment, and it would need to be treated by a, uh, a physician. Common medical causes include hyperthyroidism, hypoglycemia, uh, cardiac arrhythmia or coronary insufficiency, and uh, adrenal tumors can all cause anxiety symptoms. Uh, substance abuse, some substances that are likely to cause anxiety, uh, stimulants, steroids, diet medication. So those are all things to ask about in the initial interview when you're doing your diagnosis. Alcoholism can also cause anxiety disorders. Uh, alcohol is an anti-anxiety drug, so withdrawal from alcohol uh, generates anxiety. Now the, uh, the physiology of anxiety disorders uh, sympathetic nervous system activation, if you recall what the uh, sympathetic nervous system does, it's anxiety symptoms. It's the flight or fight response. Uh, the limbic system, the hypothalamus shift into high gear and uh, you have symptoms like sweating and uh, uh, your heart pounding. Now this becomes a disorder when your body can't turn it off when you have chronic symptoms of fight or flight. Uh, general anxiety disorder, uh, as I mentioned, it's ongoing. Uh, chronic worrying, chronic what-if type thoughts. General anxiety disorder responds well to cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, addressing the thoughts and modifying them. Uh, sometimes SSRI medications are used. You know, traditionally those are the antidepressants, but they've also been found to be useful for anxiety. Uh, you might also use benzodiazepines, but those are generally used short term because of their uh, addictive potential. Specific phobias, um, those are one of the best examples of uh, classical conditioning. Uh, uh, something feared becomes paired 
with um, uh, something neutral and you develop uh, a phobia. Uh, there may also be cognitive and genetic components to phobias. The classic treatment for phobia is systematic desensitization. Usually you don't need medication. Social phobias involve fear of embarrassment, humiliation, rejection, uh, practice, psychotherapy, uh, desensitization, exposing yourself to uh, social situations is generally the best psychotherapy. As far as medication, the MAOI medications such as uh, Parnate have been found to be particularly effective for social phobias. Panic disorder. Now this is an important differential diagnosis to make when someone comes to you with an anxiety disorder to differentiate whether it's ongoing anxiety or whether it's discrete episodes. So uh, a panic attack is a very sudden onset, generally a short duration, one to 30 minutes. The intensity is severe. Uh, it's often not precipitated by anything. And uh, many times people will say they feel like they have a, a sense that they're dying or going crazy or smothering. And uh, this can be without agoraphobia or it can develop into agoraphobia because the person is fearing the fear, they're fearing the panic attacks, and as a result, they gradually reduce their scope so that they're always in a safe place. Treatment of agoraphobia, um, initially you want to stop or reduce the panic attacks, and medication, of course, is helpful for that. Short-term benzodiazepines, longer-term SSRI medications. Uh, ongoing desensitization, often in vivo, often uh, therapists that treat agoraphobia will go out uh, with the client um, to help them get over their fear of being in public places. And group therapy is often uh, effective. Now the anti-anxiety medications include benzodiazepines. These were the first ones. Librium um, uh, was discovered in 1957. Valium and Xanax are other common ones. They're fast acting, they quell the anxiety right away, but uh, that's both a, a benefit and a negative because they're also very addicting. Uh, so generally they're used short term and they're avoided if there's a history of substance abuse. Well, butrin is in a class by itself, um, buspirone, has a delayed onset of, ac onset of action, usually takes one or two weeks to start working, no tolerance or dependence, uh, tends not to interact with other medications. Beta blockers reduce the peripheral symptoms of anxiety and actually they're primarily used as antihypertensives. Uh, they help with heart pounding and sweating and they're particularly good as uh, PRN medications for performance anxiety. And the SSRIs generally are used as first-line medications for anxiety. Uh, they're traditionally antidepressants, but also can be very effective for anxiety.